Good Documentation Practices, Module 1. Reasons for Good Documentation Practices, Definitions, and Responsibilities. Good Documentation Practices, Module 1. The learning objectives for this module are to recognize departmental responsibilities and the importance of good documentation practices, to define terms associated with good documentation practices, and to understand how the ALCOA system applies to good documentation practices. My name is Harry Rambo, and I am the instructor for this presentation. As you can see from this list, I have a diverse work history ranging from being a U.S. Army veteran, where I worked in primate veterinary care and behavior research, to working for 27 years in the tissue banking industry here in Florida. I attended colleges in California, New York State, and Florida. Good documentation practices that are followed by all departments and employees of your company can prevent a multitude of problems related to audits, maintaining product histories, and or legal difficulties. Establishing a quality management system with a robust corrective action, preventive action, and change management system using good documentation practices will create consistent records of all your processes within your company. The last thing you want to see on an audit report is, this company failed to maintain proper records or failed to have and follow procedures and instructions. Having a robust and accurate quality assurance and good documentation process is not an easy task to accomplish but it must be done to prevent errors. Even large established companies that have well-defined documents and good quality assurance programs have problems with good documentation practices if the employee training is not complete and accurate. Just remember, if you didn't document it, you didn't do it. Good documentation practices are used everywhere. They're used across the United States and in a host of countries worldwide. There are good documentation practices employed in many economic sectors, including biomanufacturing, financial institutions, and government. Good documentation proves that a company has done what it said it would do. A company is required to have a traceable, written record of all the processes and the quality control checks on those processes. Good documentation gives internal and external auditors a clear view of the work being performed and the processes that were used to perform that work. Documentation lowers the risk to your company. It can make the processes more efficient and can uncover unnecessary steps within those processes. It makes the processes consistent and can prevent mistakes. Good documentation gives employees a clear and consistent view of what work needs to be performed and how that work is to be done. It ensures that each company is following the procedures and lowers the risk to the end user. Good documentation practices are an essential part of all aspects related to current good manufacturing practices, or GMP. Adhering to good documentation practices helps prevent errors within various processes such as product quality and safety, state of the manufacturing facilities, and other related activities, and ensures that each company is following strict standard operating procedures. Good documentation practices, or GDP, is a term in the pharmaceutical and medical devices industry to describe standards by which documents are created and maintained. Good manufacturing practices, or CGMP, is a system for ensuring products are consistently produced and controlled according to quality standards. A controlled document is a document that is controlled when written, authorized, trained, utilized, and revised. Document control is a system for maintaining control of all documentation when creating, modifying, utilizing, and distributing controlled documents. A quality management system is a formalized system that documents processes, procedures, and responsibilities for achieving quality policies and objectives. Quality objectives are measurable goals to enhance customer satisfaction. So let's go through a few more definitions. The quality manual states the intentions of the company to perform processes within a quality management system. The quality policy is a brief statement that aligns an organization's strategic direction and it provides a framework 
for quality objectives and includes a commitment to meet those applicable requirements. A corrective action, preventive action, or CAPA, are improvements to an organization's processes taken to eliminate causes of nonconformities or other undesirable situations. The Quality Assurance, or QA, this department ensures a desired level of quality in a service or product, especially by means of attention to every stage of the process of delivery and production. Quality Control, or QC department, ensures that a product or process quality is maintained or improved. A deviation is the action of departing from an established course or an accepted standard.